when you actually look at the Harry Potter universe, you'll notice that it is more or less the same as the Muggle world, except for a few token elements of magic scattered about here and there. But for the most part, it is pretty much just our world, our ordinary Muggle world, with just a thin magical layer on top. People still travel through walking through hallways and upstairs. People through still communicate to each other through language and body language. And the actual structures of authority and power and decision making are exactly the same as they are in our world. The only magic occurs in these these the magic that does occur in the Harry Potter universe is not core to how the world operates or how the environment exists, but it's just there to add, you know, an interesting element here and there. So the moving pictures, the uh, the fact that on paintings that the characters instead of staying still move around the fact that the mail system is instead using owls instead of people the fact that the staircase can move none of these actually control or determine the overall way that the universe operates, or that Hogwarts as a school can exist. They're just there for a bit of quirkiness here and there. Like the ghosts, the ghosts that live in Hogwarts are not there to determine how the world exists, but are just there as a little bit of a side dish. Oh, look at that over there. Oh, yes, that's just to remind you that this is a fantasy world, that this isn't our world. And so, in terms of the core architecture, the core social structures of the Harry Potter universe, it is pretty much just our universe with a thin, uh, shallow aesthetic m magical layer, a magical aesthetic layer. Now, the best fantasy series that exist throughout the body of world literature are those that are able to actually do something that J.K. Rowling never could do, which is to completely transform our understanding of reality, of our society, by offering us an incom a completely different interpretation of the world. And so you have some sort of magical element which completely alters the way that physical bodies of matter can interact with each other through space. Or you have a particular culture or social norm which, comp which means that people behave and act towards each other in completely different ways. And so that way the reader or the viewer, in order to fully understand what's going on, what the plotline is, and what this world is, has to do a lot of difficult thinking to really comprehend this unusual world that they are being placed inside of. And so the real great works of fantasy, the great works of sci-fi, are those ones that try to bring something new, try to imagine a world that's different from ours, that's completely different, that's incomparable, whether it's how tangible reality works or how people behave and act, it's always the same. It's about trying to preside, present, present, it's always a, it's always about trying to present something absolutely novel. 
and so then you go back over to JK Rowling and the Harry Potter world and it just looks so pathetic there's nothing there as the unique or creative it's kind of an embarrassment in comparison to the glorious achievements of the sci-fi fantasy genre over the last 70 years